to fell the death by interdimensional being niche. The being, named Fred by our engineers, enjoys moonlight strolls along the beach, reading, and mauling unsuspecting enemies with brutal efficiency. Whoa! Look at that! Fred must be hungry! The Rift Inducer 5000, available only at Grummelnet.
people just don't take our line of work seriously. Hey, I'm not the one sitting on the sidelines while everyone else marches into certain death. Sit on the sidelines? And let this baby go to waste? It's one of those cool smoke bombs the spies use. You know, for making quick and fancy getaways. Oh, forget it. Here, it's my most ingenious foolproof plan yet. The Nefarious Space Station. An impenetrable fortress fraught with danger and... Uh, windows. Using my feminine wiles, I was able to convince the custodial staff to temporarily reroute the South Wing trash chute. This will be our point of entry. With the motion sensors deactivated, we should have smooth sailing into the South Wing. Harnessing eight years of high school theater workshops, I will remain undercover as the lovely Shannon. My objective will be to escort you here. Whoops. <laughs> That's a vacation picture from the Maktar Resort Single Mingle. Don't know how that got in there. I'll escort you here to a conveniently exposed thermal exhaust port. We will then endure rigorous calisthenics until we have lost enough body fat to squeeze through the port. Maybe I should handle this part of the mission. Uh, sure, that sounds quicker. Now, that port leads directly to Nefarious's personal quarters. Using the gigamorphic holoray, you'll be able to scan him and create a holographic disguise for Ratchet. With the disguise engaged, we should be able to breeze past the guards and infiltrate Mission Control, where we'll use the main security terminal to atomize every dock ship in the fleet. With Nefarious trapped like a rat and the clock safe, we can contact galactic authorities so that I may bask in the awesome glow of their admiration. All right, I have to ask, what's with the nurse's outfit? Ingenious, isn't it? It's part of an elaborate deception plan. It mostly involves a lot of hip swinging and puppy dog eyes. Well, white's certainly your color. Oh, thanks. I always fancied myself a winter. Here we are. The final showdown between good and evil. Can you smell that? That's drama, baby. I smell something, and it's definitely not drama. Hey, look on the bright side. At least we're not being squished to death by the pistons. Cover me! I'm about to do something impressive. Muscles aching, arms burning, calves looking good. Blockage detected in trash compactor 7. 714. Shutting down. Compactor. Hatchet, did you hear that? I did it! Ha <laughs> ha! Technology! I just made you my. That one was a little too close. The troopers will be here any moment. We need to keep moving. <laughs> Maintenance sector is crawling with Nefarious' goons. This might call for a little finesse. Watch and learn. Hello there. I'm Nurse Shannon. This is Dr. Archibald Von Fuzzy Pants and his robotic intern, Gundolf Metal Sprocket. Dr. Nefarious is expecting us. You are not authorized. Prepare to die, Nurse Shannon. Infiltrating your 
like we're not out of the woods yet. This elevator appears to be coded into Nefarious' circuitry. We will need the hollow guys to access it. Nice work. Blank, phase two is your part of the mission. Up into the vent and head for Nefarious's office. We'll, uh, cover you from here. Number one, double-cross remaining Valkyries and retire Lord Vorsalon. Number two, re-establish vendetta against organic life forms. And number three, Iron Sons. Hollow Guys complete. I'm returning to the rendezvous point. Hmm. Huh. Must have forgot to tune the autoscaler. Ah, well, close enough. Try your vocal modulator. Test, test. One, two. It works. Now, let's finish this and go home. Lawrence! Yes, sir, you're right. Get out of my way! Yes, sir. How may I be of assistance? The search for Ratchet has our armada stretched thin, but we do have a small fleet on the outer perimeter. They should arrive just as soon as they've completed their patrol, sir. Right away, sir. I'm afraid not, sir. All attempts to contact your lady friend have been unsuccessful. Perhaps she thought about marrying you and decided to make a run for it. Time for phase three. When we get to the hub, I'll distract the guards while you gain access to the hypernova defense laser. Got it. How do I do that? I'm not a hundred percent on that one, but I'm sure you'll think of something. Just remember, Keep it on the low, low. Avert your eyes from the exalted one. Nothing to see here. Get out of my way! Scram, you morons! Annihilate him! Shorter. 
robotic rights. Greetings, Dr. Zabarian. Annihilate him! Tell my wife and kids I love them. Looks like the fleet extended their patrol until Pollux clears the landing dock. Annihilate him! See if you can turn things along while I attempt to move the asteroids with sheer mind control. Nefarious! You didn't have to come all the way over here. The hypernova defense laser is quite capable of clearing the debris. Say, would you like to test it out? The controls are yours, sir. The hypernova defense laser must Only be controlled by one of these right for me, sir. Would you like to do the others? close to you right now.
Access the elevator. You know, oftentimes when I say this, it results in catastrophe, but what the hey? Mission accomplished! You're not Dr. Nefarious! <laughs> Nefarious, you can't use the clock. Nothing you could want is worth risking the universe. Oh, but there is. And I have you three to thank for it. Initiate Super Wavy Fastback Effect! Thanks to you and your dim-witted friend here, I found myself drifting through the cosmos. Have you ever spent time on an asteroid? It's surprisingly boring! Nothing for a villain to do but dwell on his failure! Then, one day, the fungoid saved us. But still, failure burned inside my circuitry! How could I have been defeated by the likes of you? Why had the universe been tipped in your favor? I embarked on a crusade to the inner recesses of what you call the soul. I studied fungoid meditation, attended anger management class, dabbled in yoga, attended more anger management class, until finally I went on a spirit walk on planet Quantos. It was here I finally found what I had been missing, the Great Clock! Clock under my control. I'll be able to wrong all the rights in the universe. Every villain who has ever stumbled will get a do-over. Every protagonist's triumph will be reversed. Until finally, a new present is created, in which the heroes always lose. <laughs> Gods! Hang on, cadets. Well, that was five bolts wasted. How do you like my Asteroid Flinger 5000? I had it installed in the event I ever needed a super ironic death scenario! Nefarious, you're making a mistake. Time will tell. Bon voyage, my old nemesis! <laughs> you're just a lonely man, Lance. Boarding a lonely train of its Way to Lonely Town. So help me, it's true. All aboard to Lonely Town. Choo choo, Janison. Choo choo. Zone protected us during the crash. We must not reach the clock. Thanks for the help, guys. What? I'll give them back. Ratchet, we do not have a lot of time. Destroying the Armada will not keep Nefarious away from the clock for long. There's no time to contact Galactic Authorities. That means it's up to us. Come on. There's got to be a ship somewhere on this backwater planet. Yeah.
not shoot little fuck boys. I have visitors! Mm. Have you come to hear about the historic battle of Gimlik Valley? Mm. Actually, we're trying to stop an evil mastermind from- Splendid! Mm. It all started years ago, when I was just a child. <laughs> Chief Zahn Gribnak was manning his post at the Arundai outpost, when suddenly... <laughs> evil Commander Argos attacked! Desperate to protect our village, Gribnak led a team of undertrained, poorly equipped soldiers into battle. Sadly, victory would not be theirs. <laughs> Chief Gribnak and his noble lot were captured, imprisoned, briefly pardoned, imprisoned again, and killed. The death of Zahn left us defenseless. Without him, Commander Argos laid waste to our village by destroying the Arundai floodgate. It was a crushing defeat. Oh, if only Zahn had been here to defend us against Argos. I guess you can't change the past. Huh. Ratchet, I believe I may have a way to help the Fongoids and give us a ride. Head to that time rift. Sigmund, come in. I need you to stabilize a time portal into the Battle of Gimlik Valley. Accessing Brigus Almanac now, sir. Got it. Stabilizing time rift in three, two, one. Mr. Zircon. Stupid fuckoid. Why can't Mr. Zircon not kill me? Squad 2! 
out of the shelter. Your mother will be very disappointed. But this Lombax is here to help us. I'm Ratchet. This is Clank. I'm Zon. This is Toofer and Enoch. Lurik, go take shelter with the others. We'll protect the floodgate.
some of those vine seeds. I do not understand. How will seeds help us defeat the Agorians? Trust me. Chances that would happen. You do not want to know. Come on, let's get back to the present.
will remember this day forever. We owe the both of you our gratitude. Is there anything we can do to repay you? Well, now that you mention it, we'd love to use that ship. Well, it might take some time to fetch it out of the creek, but when we do, it's all yours. Now, if you'll excuse us, we must tend to the other villagers. Now, are we done with the killing? Stupid fuckoid! Why can't Mr. Zircon not kill me? Start until tonight. Reenactment? Well, 
Well, sure! Yeah. Of the historic Battle of Gimlik Valley. It was a shining victory in fungoid history. <laughs> Say, do I know you two? You look awfully familiar. Uh, nope. First time here. And our second. <laughs> We were just admiring your Agorian space cruiser. She's perfectly restored. I was going to take her up for the show, but her batteries are dead. <laughs> I believe we may be of assistance. If we were to bring back a few battery bots, would you allow us to borrow your ship? Well, I suppose that'd be okay. So long as I got it back in time for the show. <laughs> If you find any battery bots, just toss them into these charging stations. That should power up the Versa fuses. Quite a bit of Zircon, not shoot little Fogboids. Don't see many Lombaxes around here. impersonation I've ever heard. <laughs>
Bring her back in one piece, okay? Okay. Altimeter, thruster, warp drive. Perhaps we should read the instruction manual. See? Nothing to it. And now, the booster. That is the radio. Oh, hold on, I'll just... No, no. Uh, that knob wasn't supposed to pop off, was it? Why do I even bother? Thank you.